SIGs, or special interest groups, are a new feature of the OpenStack community. They are groups that discuss issues that span multiple code projects. In this interview, I'm speaking with the leader of the Scientific SIG. They're responsible for issues surrounding scientific computing and high-performance computing that span multiple projects. Let's start with an introduction. Tell us who you are and what project you work on. Hi there. Um, I'm Stig Telfer, and I'm co-founder and co-chair of the Scientific SIG. The Scientific SIG is, is really about one of OpenStack's truly successful use cases, which is this idea about using OpenStack for meeting the demands of research computing and science. Those needs are slightly different from the, the, the sort of conventional cloud use cases, but it's a natural fit. And the way that we see OpenStack fitting into this environment, it brings flexibility and it brings some dynamism that research scientists and computing engineers cannot get from conventional high performance computing infrastructure. Now, I haven't heard the term SIG used before this year. Is this a, a newly established entity? SIG's a new. That's correct. So um, our SIG is a special interest group. And prior to that, we were a working group. But um, really, that was a misnomer because the SIG is about sharing information. <coughs> it's about advocating use cases. It's about gathering data about what the best practices around the world. So we weren't technically working. We were, we were representing this special interest, this particular use case. And, and what is your output? What does the the board or the community expects to come out of your, your SIG? We are birds of a feather. And what we do is we look around the world at the different ways that scientists are using OpenStack around the world. This sort of global gathering of information about OpenStack and science. We represent them, and we represent them on what they need uh, from uh, future OpenStack development. So we advocate on the use cases that we gather. And we also represent OpenStack and the way of using OpenStack in scientific computing in scientific conferences around the world as well. So that we, we sit in a, in a bridge between those two worlds. During the Queen cycle, what do you have to report? What have you accomplished in the last six months? It's been a busy time. Um, so we've had a lot of, a lot of sessions where we have um, brought in guest speakers and through the, the members of the SIG, we've had interviews and um, and people who are specialists in their fields around particular ways in which OpenStack or cloud computing can be used or or new technologies, emerging technologies that are relevant and have potential for a scientific use case. We have been representing those people, bringing them to, um, uh, to SIG meetings, gathering data and sharing information about how that can be exploited. Some of the areas where we've been uh, focusing actively in the, uh, in the Queen's cycle is on how do we federate between different uh, research institutions in the best possible way. So one of the really interesting differences, one of the areas where science stands apart as a use case of OpenStack is that the institutions that use OpenStack in, in scientific computing they're not really competing with each other in the same way that industry and telcos and other people are essentially rivals outside of the open stack space. So we have this tremendous upwilling of um, cooperation and that really brings about um, a very positive sort of reinforcing cycle among the members of the SIG and they share information and they share a lot about how they do particular things. They work through problems together. They, they give each other answers and, uh, and help and so it's, it's a really cool place to be, and it's, it's a, a great group to be involved in. Can, can you give us some of the examples of the organizations that you're working with? Through my work, I, uh, I do work with the Square Kilometer Array Radio Telescope. We are looking at making one of the biggest supercomputers in the world, based on OpenStack at the moment. We also work with um, prominent organizations like CERN, there are many, many institutions around the globe who use um, OpenStack in bioinformatics, in genomics, and those kinds of use cases. High energy physics, um, a lot of the high energy physics research institutions around, uh, around Europe and around the globe are OpenStack users. In the coming cycle in Rocky, 
Where do you anticipate that you'll be focused? One thing that we hear a lot is on how can we use OpenStack to get the highest levels of utilization uh, from our research infrastructure. So scientists have to get the most bang for the buck from their compute kit. And how do we adapt OpenStack and how do we evolve OpenStack to deliver the highest potential, high, realize the highest potential in terms of utilization? So one of the things that's very important is being able to make opportunistic use of idle time in the machine. That's something where there's a, a huge amount of interest and it's a really exciting topic and we are seeing a lot of traction on that use case as well. But, uh, my colleagues on the SKA um, are working on a project that uh, the team of CERN are leading to develop um, proof of concept and pilot capabilities around preemptible instances. We also maintain, with the Foundation's assistance, a, a book on how OpenStack is used for um, high-performance computing and scientific use cases. This book has been involved over the last two years, and I think we're probably due to develop another chapter on the book. So every, um, every year we, um, we add a chapter, if we can, and um, I think we're due a chapter on how OpenStack can be used to handle sensitive data for, for example, for medical informatics, those kinds of things. What can we do in an OpenStack environment to meet these kinds of challenges that isn't available today? And where can I get this book? Uh, the book is on the OpenStack.org website. We have a science landing page and it is available for free download there or it can be bought from Amazon. Well, thank you so much for your time and, and good luck in your work and in this week's meetings. Thank you very much.